Hi, crafty friends. You guys, these placemats at Dollar Tree are adorable and they're gonna go perfectly out on the porch. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna turn this into a pillow. So I'm just using a little seam ripper and I'm just gonna open up the seam here on the side so that we can stuff it and then we will um, close that back up. If you don't have a seam ripper, no problem. You can just use like a little pair of scissors or something um, just to open it a little bit. Uh, you really don't need it to be huge. Really, it's just enough to get your hand in there um, to stuff it with. So I have some pillows that I've had out on the porch for a couple years now, and they, it's time for new ones. <laughs> They've seen better days, let me just say. But when I kind of collected them all and put them in a pile, I was like, wait a minute, we can repurpose some of this stuff. So what we're gonna do is the one that we're gonna use um, for this pillow, um, it actually is smaller, the interesting thing is it's smaller than this placemat, um, but of course it's stuffed really, really, really full of polyfill. So I was like, well, wait a minute, we'll just take the stuff out of this one and then we will stuff it into the other one. Well, when I got everything out of it, there was so much, I ended up able to do two pillows. Um, so that was super cool. But I also saved the uh, front of this pillow because I have an idea for the a craft with the front part, that image part of it. So definitely stay tuned uh, for that. Um, but I just am like, ooh, we can repurpose some stuff here. So like I said, I pulled everything out of it and started just stuffing into um, the placemat in between the back and the front there to create the pillow. And um, I just kind of kept getting it into all the little nooks and crannies and just really kind of stuff it and make it as full as possible. And like I said, I got a whole other pillow out of this too. So that was like, oh, no more just throwing random pillows away anymore. We're going to be taking the insides out. But anyways, uh, again, once we get all of that done, then all we're going to do is just use um, some hot glue, and I'm just going to close up that seam. Now, if you wanted to, you could absolutely, you know, just hand stitch it closed. But I have done this before, and the hot glue works so simple, so easy, and then you don't have to... Um, pull out any sewing stuff. So yay to that. And I know a lot of you are going to ask me, yeah, but it's going to be outside on the porch. Are you sure? Trust me. I have done this so many times with pillows to create them using the hot glue just to close up that little area. And it works easy peasy. It stays closed. No worries. So just going to kind of pull it taut um, once I get all of the stuff in there and then add the hot glue and just close that whole thing up. And what an inexpensive outdoor pillow we have with a cute little Dollar Tree placemat. I mean, just so cute. So anyways, here's how it turned out. I just think it is just ah, love, love, love. All right, friends. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow the page for more daily crafts. Thanks, friends.